video, I'm going to teach you guys about the data file and the redo log file. All right? <clears throat> These two files are actually needed to open up your database. And this is module two, and um, we're, we're, um, I have to teach you everything from the ground up. So um, as, a, as an Oracle DBA, the two, the two most important files that, that are needed are, um, to open up your database would be the, um, the data file and, and the redo log file. Right, so to to start your database, you need your SP file. To mount your database, um, you need the control file. But to open your database, you need both the data file and the redo log file. All right. Now you 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 normally have about five different um, data files that come with the database when you create one, and the redo log files they come they normally come with three groups. Right, and I showed you as I showed you in the, in the previous video, <coughs> the control file has the location for both your your data file and the redo log file. The data file actually is the most important file in the entire database because all other data um, database files are actually used um, to protect that data file. Right, so the SP file, the control file, the P file. Um, the redo log file, the archive log file, they're all used to actually protect the data file in case in, in case of loss. The data file is used to is used to store all the company's data. And without the company's data, you basically don't have any business. All right? So let's actually look at where the data files normally are kept inside the Oracle database. I'm going to log into the database. Right? All right? So to see the names of all your, con your of all your data files, you simply do what select name from the dollar data file, right? And this is the location, and this is the name of each one of your data files, all five of them. So you have your system data file, sys aux, undo, users, and example in this case, right? And this is the locations for each and every one of them. So if I if I exit out and I cd here and I type ls, right? It gives me the location for all for all five, um, actually all six of the um, of your um, data files. Now you have five by default, but being that we have the example table space or data file, um, we have six. Okay. So that's your data file, the most important file bar, bar none, right? To, because they store all your company's data, right? And it's really the user's data file that's, that stores your company's data. The system data file is used to keep, is used to store the um, the data dictionary tables, um, um, the undo table space or undo data file is used to uh, for rollback operations. Your sys, your sys aux um, data file is used to store your AWR and ADDM um, um, resources. And then you have your temporary um, data file or temp file. This is your temporary temp file. This is used for um, um, for sorting operations, all right? And then you have your example data file. This is used um, just um, so we can have some schema, some sample schemas that we can use to play around with the database um, during the um, duration of this course, all right? So these are your six um, data files. Now let's take a look at um, our um, redo log file. So to, to see where your redo log files are, you just simply do a select member from the dollar log file. All right. So as you can see, there are three groups, right? And there are two members per group, two members per group. So let's go to one of them, all right? So I would exit out of this, and I would CD to that location, and I would type LS. And as you can see, these are all your what? Redo log files. Now your redo log files are used to record all changes made inside the database in the form of change vectors, all right? So every DML or any DDL that changes that you make inside the database are recorded in the redo log file. Now, based on whether or not your database is in archive log mode or not, um, then it'll be saved. But in the meantime, the main thing that a redo log file does is to record all changes made inside the database. Okay, so that's pretty much your um, um, your um, your database files and your redo log files, right? They are needed to open up your database, right? Not to start your database, not to mount your database, but to open your database.
all right so i'll talk to you guys soon